Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early mornings, LLA, the 6 a.m. edition. How are you? The toast is toast and the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here, and your second stimulus check would likely be there by today as well. Millions of viewers continue to get the check. Some got it yesterday, some got it in the middle of the day, some got it on the end part of the day, even though that was the banking holiday yesterday. But more of you should be getting it today, and those that are signed up for paper check will, paper check will be getting it today as well. Big exciting news. Meantime, I'll be focusing as well on what's happening with the other provisions of the second stimulus package. They're coming next week. Big moolah coming for you next week under the second stimulus package. It's a great day. Thank you for joining me. And this is Early Mornings LI Light. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early mornings at oh, the 6 a.m. edition. The coffee's toasted, the coffee's brewing, the toast is toasting. I'm here, you're here. And thank you for joining me on a great day. You know, it's so exciting. Uh, new year, new time, new focus, and a new stimulus check. But it may not be the Cash Act. In this video, I'm gonna go over the, sto the stimulus that's coming to you next week in addition to the $600 stimulus. Exciting, great news, so please subscribe. Go to the Funds channel, subscribe. This is now a 24-hour news channel with 80 million viewers, 80 million, 80 million views in eight months. And boy, I want to ensure that you don't miss a video when I go taped and live, so make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video and hit the alert button so you can alert when I go taped or live as well. Meantime, over there, it's an instant premiere. It allows you to chat with your friends. Uh, the same group of people tune in every morning on Early Mornings LA. Interact, see if someone else got the stimulus check before you or what's going on, and see how everyone's weekend's going. Additionally, so much development across the board. So glad you're here. And with that, let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is that the stimulus check, the $600 stimulus check, the second stimulus package check, is landing in people's accounts today as well. The paper check could make its first appearance today for the first time, and more paper checks are coming next week. What's going on? Well, the electronic receipt of the stimulus check continues to surprise viewers. So some got the yesterday, some are being told it's gonna to post on Monday, some are getting on different routing times and different, uh, different dependent, uh, different days of the week. It's all dependent upon your bank. It's not dependent upon your last name or where you're state or where you live. It's based upon the bank you choose. Some banks are fast, some banks are slow. Meantime, the paper check is arriving finally. Can you imagine? The paper check will start arriving today for some viewers and then it'll start coming next week. $600 for an individual, married couple, $1,200, child, $600. One viewer said, I got, um, uh, one viewer said, I got $1,800 LA, but it's just me and my son. <laughs> so what's going on? Uh, <laughs> immediately the comments were, you have an ex-wife they don't know about? Uh, no, I'm single, the person said. Uh, okay, uh, do, do, do you have an extra love child you don't know? <laughs> no, I just know, this is the only one child. So it appears that that person may have at one point told IRS on one of their forms the number two is dependent, not number one. Uh, and so that's why he got a check for two kids, not one kid. So, oops, there you go. Um, <laughs> that's why you got that number. Ultimately, if you look at the check and you do it times $600, you see there's an error, then you understand where the error is, whether they're underpaying or overpaying. IRS, you can't update anything. Can't update the bank account, can't update the number of children, can't update anything with the IRS. They said, no way, no how. Uh, just not happening. I had told you before, in the summer, that's the donut guy. Just tell me when it lands in my bank account. Well, it may not be landing in the bank account. It's $600 for children, no check for adult dependents. Um, if you're on SSI and SSDI, you'll get a stimulus check if you are not an adult dependent. And there we go. So what's happening this coming Monday? Well, all that other moolah starts to kick in. There's moolah here and moolah there. And what I want you to know is I'm here to ensure you get this moolah because some of it is automatic, some of it's not automatic.
One of the first things that's really kicking in already, it kicked in on the 31st, actually ahead of time, is SNAP. That's food assistance. And if you're not on SNAP, go get on SNAP. SNAP is 15 is being raised 15% automatically for individuals. Someone asked me, is it only raised 15% if? No, it's 15% for everyone. There's no catch to it. SNAP is so desired. You know, it's $1,400 approximately for a family of four if you're in Hawaii. This is money for food. It's really needed. To get SNAP, you go to two one, call 211 or call the Department of Agriculture, DOA. And there you go. Uh, SNAP is getting a 15% increase for six months under the second stimulus package. And it's now posting to people's accounts. But there's an additional thing you can get, and this requires you to make a call or, or do an online application. This is called Pandemic EBIT. If you have a child that was normally at school and that child stayed home because of lockdown, SNAP doesn't know it. SNAP will pay you an additional $115, $114 a month for that child because you're paying for food for that child. So this is something you need to tell them, and they will put that on your account as well. Very, very, very easy. So what are the items coming to people next week and where are the items? You know, of all the things I detail on this channel, I always tell you when there's an application, when there's not an application. Do I know where the application will be or do I not know where the application will be? And that's what I'm going to do right now. There's a series of things that are going to kick in in the next few days and we sort of know some of them and some of them we don't know. Uh, EI deal grants for inner city that will be at sba.gov. The grant for the the stimulus or free money for the ranchers or farmers that may also be at sba.gov. We really don't know, or it may be on the Department of Agriculture's website DOA. They're calling it a direct stimulus relief for farmers or ranchers who have been distressed because of the pandemic. So it really is not clear. Does that that sound sort of like DOA, but by the by the point that you have to sort of uh, indicate how you were impacted, that sounds very SBA-ish. So really not clear where it will be, but I'm going to tell you as soon as it happens. Free internet, free broadband, there is no website yet for that. That's one, certainly one on the, on the radar. The free rent and the free utilities, that is an easy one. <laughs> That's your city, your county. So it's on your city and county's website. Not now, not in the next few days, but maybe later, start of the end, end of next week, we start to see some states having that money appear in certain places. Every state's going to have a different routing time. Some may take a month, some may take a few days, um, but it's that, it's that sort of process. Child care, um, it's not quite clear where the child care will post. And the utilities, it will also be through the city and county's website. So that's all very, very clear. The other things that you're wondering about, PPP will go live in the next few days as well. That will be on sba.gov. So you see a lot of applications hitting left and right. FPUC, there's no separate website for FPUC. It goes on top of your UI and PUA. And let me explain what's going on with UI and PUA because this is just, uh, it's sort of a mind melt. There's a lot of stuff and a lot of confusion. FPUC is on top of your UI and PUA. It's $300 a week going forward for now, for this week right now. But when will you see it? <laughs> Goodness, it's going to be delayed. They're going to be late paying it. Um, and that delay could be a, a week. It could be a month. It's going to be slow. You'll see it when you get your UI and PUA for that particular week. Remember, it goes on top of your UI and PUA. Uh, your UI and PUA, you need to certify for benefits, but your account may say inactive. If your account was inactive because you ran out of weeks, um, then you will at some point go from inactive to active. It depends on the state. Some states are doing it right away. Some states are delayed. Some states we just don't know. But they're going to switch you from inactive to active. And once you're active, then you're going to have to certify for benefits. As soon as you can certify for benefits, then you're, you're teed up. You may still not get paid on time, but at least you know that it's teed up. There's a lot of things to know about FPUC because I've done so many videos on it about how states just mess it up all the time. For example, they may not put FPUC in the portal. So you'll sign in and you'll be like, okay, next, the first week of January, it says I'm getting, it says 167, but wait a second, where's my FPUC? Why is it not listed here? Some states don't want to spend the money on their computers to actually do a line item. So they actually don't 
put into the website the three hundred dollars, and that causes a lot of confusion. Uh, millions of people on the phone. Where? Why is there no three hundred dollars on the website? Well, we just don't put it there. But you're gonna get it. Well, why don't? Why did you put it there? Because this makes me nervous. It makes it look like I don't get it. Yeah, this is just you know they don't have the financial wherewithal to modernize the computer systems or put the line item in there. That's the first thing. Second thing is that sometimes they may actually list it as a processing amount. So they may actually show, hey, we paid you $300. So when you see it in the processing section of the, of the portal, then you may see where the money's coming out. Additionally, as if they don't do stuff crazy already, they sometimes send the FPUC separate from the UI or the PUA. So let's say you get the UI PUA on a Tuesday, the FPUC may come on a Wednesday. It's like, wait a second, why why is it coming separately? Oh, uh, you know, just to surprise you. <laughs> the crush the surprise. Uh, you know, wait a second, this, it makes me nervous because like I got 167, I'm like, where's my 300? I came a day later, why? Uh, then to make it even more spicy and original and keep you on your feet, they may send the FPUC in a different manner than they send the UI. Isn't that delicious? Ugh goodness. So you get your UI by debit card, and then suddenly a paper check shows up in the mail, 300. I'm like, why are you sending me a paper check? Why is it not on the debit card like my UI is? Because we'd like to surprise you. <laughs> Just crush the surprises. They do it all the time. So be prepared for surprises. And of course, be prepared for delays. What I've been reporting in the last few days is I want you to go get uh, rent and utilities and food from the volunteers, from the from the nonprofits, from the from your city and state that I detail on Purple and Purple Live every night. That's news.la.com forward slash community. One of the most discouraged, uh, one of the most um, troubling things I had seen, I didn't even bring it up. The volunteers brought it up to me. Not one, but two volunteers said, LLA, I get about 50, 60 people a day asking me to help them with, with purple issues. And, uh, the, you know, I'm helping them with rent and utilities. And then suddenly it's less than one person a day. What happened? Because I see the traffic on the on the channel. The traffic's through the roof. The traffic is bigger than it was the day before. Why is there suddenly no one asking for rent and utilities? I said, because the stimulus check. I said, it's not good. It's not good. People are getting a $600 stimulus check. I say, hey, I got a $600 stimulus check. I'm good for the month of January. You're not good for the month of January because your PUA and FPUC and UI may come late. <gasps> late? What do you mean late? What do you mean late? I, uh, you can't do that. I got to pay my bills. Well, that's why I want you to get purple. I want you to tune in um, every night, uh, every afternoon for purple on this channel to go over state stimulus and rent and utilities and Purple Power Live at seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I want you to get this money. In the video after this, I go over what's gonna happen with that $2,000 stimulus check. I know there's confusion about it. Gone, gonna get another crack at it. It's gonna be Cash Act 2.0. Is it gonna be merged into Biden stimulus? And then I'm gonna circle back to third stimulus because we're just now, what are we, 19 days away from third stimulus check and third stimulus package, can you imagine? I'm like, if I, if, yeah, I'm the one who coined the phrase, so let's just sort of watch, let's just sort of watch as other people start calling it a third stimulus check and there's a package, you know, it's going to happen, uh, but it's it's an exciting day, I'm so glad you joined me. If you missed EIDL on the overnight video, watch it, it's now on the channel, if you missed PUA on the overnight channel, watch that as well. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay at LA for more.